Weldon, Mally, and Pawnee both knowing they're moving on in the 1A District 4 Volleyball Tournament. I'm Ben Black as we come back to the Bank of Colorado Event Center for our fourth and final match of day one. The Weldon Valley Warriors winners over Prairie, as is Pawnee, with two teams moving out. These two teams now playing for seeding, and for Weldon Valley, the top overall seed in this tournament. They'll also be playing for the top overall seed in Saturday's championship pool. Pawnee likely playing for a two seed in Saturday's championship pool if they can get the victory. These two teams played twice during the regular season, Weldon Valley winning both, but a very competitive sweep on Saturday as a part of the triangular, which was in Briggsdale. Briggsdale, Weldon Valley, and Pawnee always finish the season with the triangular playing each other on Saturday to prep them for the district tournament. Those are league matches, but all three of those were over 20 on the Pawnee Coyote side, 25-22. Um, I believe were two of them and another one, 25-20. So very competitive volleyball. We expect the same thing here at the Bank of Colorado Event Center, and we'll be back with the starters and the opening serve of our final match of the day when we come back on ColoradoPreps.tv. For certified windshield repair and replacement, you already know to call Smart Parts and Sterling. But what about grill guards, running boards, and other truck accessories, such as BW hitches and 3M clear protective coating for any vehicle? Smart Parts has what you're looking for. Ask about the Vortex system, used for sprayed-on truck liners to protect your truck bed from wear and tear while enhancing the beauty of your truck. For these and other services, see Smart Parts at 536th Avenue in Sterling or call 522-5399. Rudy's Gas, Tire, and Oil congratulates the area teams on their great season and also congratulates them on their accomplishments. When you need a tire assistance, see Rudy's Gas, Tire, and Oil with two convenient locations to serve you. Rudy's GTO at 405 East Edison Street in Brush or at 113 Central Avenue in Wiggins. For more information, call Rudy's GTO in Brush, 970-842-4219 or in Wiggins, 970-483-7878. Big Tex, a name you can trust to build great trailers. Big Tex, the name behind quality, precise design, and depth of production line. Big Tex, where style does not get lost in the rugged construction of products. Big Tex, made to last, made to perform. Big Tex, with years of experience and Texas pride built into every product. When your Big Tex touches the ground, it's tested and warranted, ready to transport the job you have. Get your Big Tex trailer at Sterling Trailers. Call 522-2855. Looking for that perfect home or property? Look no further than Morgan County Realty and Reed Cavelli. Morgan County Realty was established 30 years ago and is family owned and operated. Specializing in residential housing, commercial properties, water transactions, farm and ranch. But it doesn't just stop there. Reed is also a licensed mortgage loan originator, providing a full line of mortgage services. See Reed Cavelli today at Morgan County Realty, 702 Main Street in Fort Morgan, or call 970-867-867. 4908. Here's a simple math problem. What's 1 plus 1? 2, you say? Not at Bank of Colorado. Here, 1 plus 1 add up to free. Because our personal free checking and personal free collection give you twice as much free. You'll start with free checking, free online banking, free telebank access, free pin pay, no service fees, and more. And when you add on, you'll get a free savings account, free appraisal with your next mortgage, and more. So if you're into free, apply today to open a new account by visiting bankofcolorado.com, where 1 plus 1 one equals free. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. Paul and Luann of West Pawnee Ranch Bed and Breakfast congratulate the Pawnee Coyotes on a great season and wish them best of luck in the postseason. West Pawnee Ranch Bed and Breakfast is a working ranch located in northeast Colorado, 20 miles west of Grover. Create your own adventure at West Pawnee Ranch Bed and Breakfast. Bring your horse and ride across the plains. Visit the Pawnee Buttes or enjoy the Pawnee National Grasslands, where 250 different species of birds are located. Call the West Pawnee Ranch Bed and Breakfast at 970-895-2482 or visit westpawneeranch.com. Get your DVD copies of The Adventure Seeing Live online at BigTimeSmallTown.com. Hi, I'm Ben Blecka, owner, founder, and one of the talents of Big Time Small Town Media. Very glad you're enjoying the broadcast we're bringing to you live online. But don't forget, you can have this broadcast whenever and wherever you want with a purchase of the DVD from Big Time Small Town Media. Go to www.BigTimeSmallTown.com. There you can check out all the games that we've got from any past tournaments. We've been doing this for just more than a year, and Big Time Small Town Media is proud to be more than sports. We're community. Pawnee Lady Coyotes and the Weldon Valley Lady Warriors get set for matchup here at the 1A District 4 Volleyball Tournament. I'm Ben Black. I'm very glad 
You've joined us on this Tuesday afternoon. Let's meet the starters for these two teams that know they're going to get at least three more matches on Saturday. The Pawnee Lady Coyotes is the four seed coming in have changed their jerseys. They'll be wearing their red jerseys with the white long sleeves in this one. And uh, they will start two seniors, Lindy Johnson, and their libero, Sarah Vieira. Two juniors, Brooke Tilgman and Afton Zedek. Two sophomores, Kirby Anderson and Morgan Sanders. And a freshman, Kendra Koenig. For the Weldon Valley Lady Warriors, they will in this one start a boatload of seniors. Morgan Norris, Cassie Headley, Kelsey Eskew, and Rachel McCracken, junior Kendra Cullison. Their libero Haley Cavelli is a senior, and then freshman Brooklyn Kramire is the other starter for the Weldon Valley Lady Warriors. Head coach Jerry Spooner for Weldon Valley, who comes into this one with one loss on the year and within league play. I believe the Weldon Valley Lady Warriors only lost the one set to the Fleming Lady Wildcats back in early September. That, I think, might have been the only set that they lost um, in league play this year and one of the few sets they lost all year. This team has definitely played some very, very, very good volleyball this year. They'll have their blue jerseys on, and the alternate color jersey is libero Haley Cavelli in the gold. I guess Kendra Colson not officially in the starting lineup as uh, with the rotation they're starting in. The Weldon Valley Lady Warriors will have Kiana Sandoval as a starter. So to credit her, she is a junior <coughs> that'll play on the back row. The Weldon Valley Lady Warriors and the Pawnee Lady Coyotes meet up for the second time in, well, I don't know, they play probably around noon on Saturday out in Briggsdale. And it is 5 o'clock here on Tuesday. So this team has met up uh, in roughly 75 hours this for the second time as they will set to square off for seating and seating only knowing they're going on playing Saturday at 9 a.m. now the loser possibly could be the three seed, but would require an upset. The way they seed Saturday is based on the initial seeds within this tournament and the position they're in. So the uh, Pawnee Coyotes win they're playing the 9 a.m. match. The Weldon Valley Lady Warriors win. They won't play until the 10.30 match on Saturday. I don't know which side. There we go. The Pawnee Lady Coyotes will start with the serve here in this matchup and into serve will be a libero, Sarah Vieira. It went five in the District 2 Volleyball Tournament in Holyoke, and Holyoke beat the Wiggins Tigers in five, 15-10 in the fifth. Sarah Vieira back to serve. Well, the Pawnee Lady Coyote, she'll put it down the middle. Field a back row by Haley Cavelli. Checked up, short set near side for McCracken, and the block drawn into the net. So the Weldon Valley Lady Warriors take the opening point of the contest. That'll send Rachel McCracken back to serve. McCracken. Well, line it down the middle, popped up, back row by Sarah Vieira, not cleanly, that's an ace, and Weldon Valley off to a 2-0 run. They got big run in the third against Prairie. McCracken. Will step back and line the ball deep, popped up back row. By Sarah Vieira, set it up, and Vieira will end up freeing it over. Checked up back row for the Weldon Valley Lady Warriors. Short set down the middle, SQ down and in for a kill. 3-0 Weldon Valley. McCracken. Well, line it short, popped up, diving dig out by Vieira on the back row, set near side, Lindy Johnson, her hammer deep, dug out, set over the net by Morgan Norris, checked up high, and Vieira will flat free it over, misplay back row, and that'll be the opening point of the contest for the Pawnee Lady Coyotes, down 3-1 here in the first. On to the floor will come Caitlin Staley on the back row for the Weldon Valley Lady Warriors. And Kendra Koenig steps back to serve. Koenig lines it near side, popped up by Haley Cavelli, set up Norris far side. Cassie Headley cross shot down and in for a kill. Very different Warrior team than what we saw against Prairie earlier. 
Kendra Collison checks in on the front row. Morgan Norris will step back with the serve. She'll wind it down the middle. Popped up on the Pawnee side. Set up in the attack by Lindy Johnson. And that blocked by Kelsey Eskew. Kept in play over and out, though, off the dig. 5-1 go the Weldon Valley Lady Warriors. Morgan Norris will line the serve down the middle. Popped up back row. Set up. Near side, Togman will go for Zedek over the top of the block. Chase down far side, and Headley will flat it over on the second. Checked out by Koenig, set down the middle for Lindy Johnson off the block. Diving dig out, back row by McCracken. Far side swing, Headley again. Nice floater down the middle, popped up by Vieira. Set far side, Lindy Johnston. Lindy with a nice swing. And back to serve goes Togman, the setter. 5-2, short serve, popped up back row. And misplayed, that'll be an ace. 5-3. Togman. Well, line it down the middle, popped up back row by Haley Cavelli. Set up far side swing for Kendra Collison. Dug out back row, short set down the middle. Lindy Johnson, her shot too wide now. Kelsey Eskew will step back with a serve. She went on a 9-0 run. Line serve, dig free, over and out. And it's 7-3. Eskew will line it down the middle. Ball miss, play back row, another ace, make it 8-3. Eskew, lines the ball down the middle, popped up back row, into the block at the net, kept in play for Pawnee, far side swing, Lindy Johnson crossed two wide and out, 9-3. Whale of a start for Weldon Valley here in their second match of the day. Line served down the middle, dig free back onto the Warrior side, popped up back row, set up and down off that set to make it 10-3. Eskew will hammer the ball down the far side. Back set for Lindy Johnson, her attack, knocked deep, dug out back row. Coulson sets it up and Headley will float it over and short, popped up by Kendra Koenig. Set near side, Afton Zedek. Zedek over the top of the block, diving dig out by McCracken, back row. Near side, Coulson with her attack, checked out by Tilgman in the attack hammer back over by Lindy Johnston. Far side swing for Cassie Edley off the block. Nicely chased down, freed back over by Sarah Vieira. Short set for Kraymeyer. Her attack dug out on the Pawnee side. Lindy Johnston will return it back. Chased down back row by McCracken. Far side swing from Headley. Her cross shot makes it 11 3. Nice rally goes the way of the Weldon Valley Lady Warriors. Eskew, finds a third down the near side, popped up by Kirby Anderson. Anderson will get set on the near post, her attack dug out on the back row. Far side swing for a Headley, miss hit it. And the run will come to a close for Weldon Valley, but they've created a significant amount of difference between themselves and Pawnee here in the first. Wendy Johnson will put the serve short, dig free back onto the Pawnee side. Set up near side and over the top of the block and it goes Afton Zedek. Kramer turns and tips it over. Flat free play back over. Diving dig out. It's McCracken back row. Headley with the swing. Line deep. Dug out by Koenig back row. Down the middle Morgan Sanders with the attack. Blocked at the net by Kramer. Freed over by Togman. Norris will back set near post for Cullison. Her attack chased down by Lindy Johnston near the back wall and a free ball will be played over. Set up down the middle and the punch back over by Coulson. Dug out 
Far side, and the attack will be knocked deep by Kirby Anderson. Chase down back row, tip set back over, and down and in. Nice tip set down by Cassie Headley, and it's 12-4 in favor of the Weldon Valley Warriors. Morgan Norris stepping over to talk to the up official. Ball wind down the middle, popped up, set up near side, and the attack hammered over by Kirby Anderson. Back set near side, and a swing from Cullison off the block, make it 13-4. I'm surprised we've not seen a timeout for Pawnee. Headley will put the ball short, dug out back row, set near side, Morgan Sanders. Ball floated deep, dug out by Cassie Headley, far side, McCracken rifled off the block. She loaded that one back up and down. 14-4. Wow. She's playing with a hurt ankle to boot. Headley. Line serve short. Popped up back row by Koenig. Back set far side and over the top of the block goes Zedek and she gets it to go down. Ball line down the far side, dug out back row, set up in the attack, hammered over and down and in for a kill for Rachel McCracken, up by double digits. One versus four here, Weldon Valley found a whole new gear right now. Cullison lines the ball short, popped up by Lindy Johnston, set up near side and over the top of the block, goes Kinder Koenig, set far side, big swing off the block, McCracken, 16-5. Cullison, floats the serve short, dug out back row, set up near side, and a free ball over by Afton Zedek. Chased down near the 10-foot line, and a big swing, too big and out for McCracken. Serve, short, set up far side, McCracken hammers it in to the net. Ball lined into the net on the serve for the Coyotes. So score goes 17-7. And Haley Cavelli will step back with the serve. Cavelli knocks it near side, dug out back row by Lindy Johnson, set it up, and Koenig will line it deep, too deep and out. And the Weldon Valley Lady Warriors hold an 18-7 lead here in the first, and a timeout is taken by Pawnee. Looking for that perfect home or property? Look no further than Morgan County Realty and Reed Cavelli. Morgan County Realty was established 30 years ago and is family owned and operated. Specializing in residential housing, commercial properties, water transactions, farm and ranch. But it doesn't just stop there. Reed is also a licensed mortgage loan originator, providing a full line of mortgage services. See Reed Cavelli today at Morgan County Realty, 702 Main Street in Fort Morgan, or call 970-867-4908. Everybody knows that when a great opportunity, like an iPhone, presents itself, you grab it. Somebody says they've got tickets to the big game and can't go, you grab the tickets. Somebody tells you that you can get an iPhone at a special price, you grab it. And it's true. For a limited time, Viero has iPhones for only $79.99. And we'll even pay your early termination fees up to $200 when you switch to Viero. All that and coverage you can count on. So hurry into Viero today. Your iPhone is here. Restrictions apply. See store for details. Back here is the long serve, misses the back line from Haley Capelli to kick things off. Out of the timeout, 18-8. 
And the serve will come from Vieira. Line down the middle, popped up, set, and Rachel McCracken went down trying to come across the middle. And the set was intended for her on a far side slide. So Lee cut down to 9, 18-9. All line short, dug up back row, set up in the quick swing from Eskew, dug out right back to Eskew, miss hit it and caught the line far side. So 19-9. Way back to serve goes McCracken. She'll line it down the middle, popped up by the Coyotes. And into the net, and it's a 29 advantage. Jump serve will come. Too big and out from Rachel McCracken, but still up by double digits are the Weldon Valley Lady Warriors. serve down on the warrior side to make it 2011 serve field it back row by Haley Cavelli that up far side big swing too big and out from Cassie Headley and back within eight are the Pawnee Lady Coyotes here in the first these two teams three times last year played to five sets this year both 3-0 sweeps. Koenig will knock it into the net just when it looks like Pawnee's getting momentum. A mental miscue. And the serve goes back to Morgan Norris. Norris lines it down the middle. Popped up back row by Koenig. Set up for Zedek. Banged off the block at the net. Ball chased down by Coulson. And a free ball over by Cassie Headley. Far side, Koenig popped up down the middle. Big attack. Lindy Johnston down and in for a kill. Serve will go over to Brooke Tilgman, who got a nice run. And Tilgman will line it down the middle. Popped up back row by Headley. Short set. Eskew. Big swing. Down and in for a kill. Just follow the ball. And 22-13. Eskew will step back with the serve. Eskew lines it down the middle, popped up far side, set up, and the big swing. Lindy Johnston pancaked out, but a lift ball on the second hit will make it 22-14. Game one, Weldon Valley Lady Warriors, Pawnee Lady Coyotes both know they're playing on Saturday. Wendy Johnston with the serve. She'll line it far side. Misplayed lift ball ace. So lead cut down to seven, 22-15. Lindy will line it down the middle. Popped up by Cassie Headley on the back row. Set up in the tip attack over by Headley. Set near side and punched into the block at the net by Afton Zedek. And it's 23-15. Headley, back with the serve, line down the middle, popped up by Lindy Johnson, set far side, Zedek bangs it off the block, the net ball kept in play, and then punched back over by Kirby Anderson. Set up Norris near side, Collison, her attack, dug out back row by Lindy Johnston, far side, Kirby Anderson's attack, dug out by Norris. Nice set far side for a line shot, caught the back corner, did Rachel McCracken to game point at 24-15. As Weldon Valley looks to go up 1-0 on Pawnee. The serve, line short, popped up back row by Lindy Johnston. Tip over and down, so one staved off for the Pawnee Lady Coyotes. 24-16, still quite a few to work with here. Back to serve goes Afton Zedek. Zedek lines at far side, popped up by McCracken. Set for McCracken, her attack off the block at the net and down. And that will do the opening game. 25-16 in favor of Weldon Valley. Second coming up next on this big-time small-town media production.
You're looking for a used car, but you don't really trust those used car dealers. At Ertl Brothers Discount Auto in Sterling, trust is not an issue. At Ertl Brothers Discount Auto, every vehicle is fully inspected before it goes out on the lot, so you don't have to worry about buying that lemon. For your convenience of shopping, Ertl Brothers Discount Auto is available online anytime at ebautos.com. They understand that not everyone works 9 to 5, so they'll even set up private appointments to work with your schedule. Visit Ertl Brothers Discount Auto, Monday through Friday, 8.30 to 5.30, Saturday, 9 to 4. Playing sports takes planning. Our day-to-day lives take planning, but we're not all prepared to plan for all aspects of our lives. That's why we have to rely on people like Joel Nelson at Nelson Financial to help us plan for our retirement. Plan and invest in your best interest without compromise at Nelson Financial. The only certified financial planner in the area, Joel can't help you out unless you call 970-521-7800. Nelson Financial, better to plan and not need it than need it and have not planned. Paul and Luann of West Pawnee Ranch Bed and Breakfast congratulate the Pawnee Coyotes on a great season and wish them best of luck in the postseason. West Pawnee Ranch Bed and Breakfast is a working ranch located in northeast Colorado, 20 miles west of Grover. Create your own adventure at West Pawnee Ranch Bed and Breakfast. Bring your horse and ride across the plains. Visit the Pawnee Buttes or enjoy the Pawnee National Grasslands, where 250 different species of birds are located. Call the West Pawnee Ranch Bed and Breakfast at 970-895-2482 or visit westpawneeranch.com. One of the benefits of being a Premier Farm Credit borrower is having the opportunity to share in the association's profits. Since 2001, Premier has paid out over $26 million in patronage dividends. Call us if you want to be part of a local, member-owned and controlled cooperative that understands agriculture. We offer interest rates competitive in the marketplace and our board of directors is committed to a patronage dividend program. Premier Farm Credit the gold standard in ag lending. Rudy's Gas, Tire, and Oil congratulates the area teams on their great season and also congratulates them on their accomplishments. When you need a tire assistant, see Rudy's Gas, Tire, and Oil with two convenient locations to serve you. Rudy's GTO at 405 East Edison Street in Brush or at 113 Central Avenue in Wiggins. For more information, call Rudy's GTO in Brush, 970-842-4219 or in Wiggins, 970-483. 7878. With Come back to the Bank of Colorado Event Center for the second 25-16. The Weldon Valley Lady Warriors take Pawnee in the first. We head to the second. The teams will flip sides. Weldon Valley will now be going from right to left and Pawnee from left to right. Weldon Valley got off to a hot start and then kind of held on toward the end of that one. So it's a matter of will they get off to a hot start here in the second. They'll start with the serve here in the second. Caitlin Staley on as opposed to Kiana Sandoval here in the second for Weldon Valley. Pawnee staying with their same six. Back to serve will go Haley Cavelli. Cavelli with the big jump far side, dug out back row by the Coyotes and a 10-foot line swing from Johnston. Set up down the middle and McCracken running the setting position here. Sets it over the swing of Eskew. Spawny takes first point here in the second. Cone Eagle lining near side, fielded by Headley, back row, set it up and over the top of the block and down and in for a kill goes Eskew. She really got Weldon Valley going in that Prairie match and they were struggling in that first. Both blocking and attacking. McCracken with the serve will line it into the net. Two-one Coyotes. See if Brooke Tilgman can get a nice run. Tilgman will line it short. Misplayed back row. She does. Three-one. And Tilgman 
Well, wind it down the near side. Pitted by Headley on the back row. Set up for Eskew. Down and in for a kill. Kelsey Eskew. Maybe the most powerful swing in this tournament. One of the most powerful swings in Class 1A. Three teams out of this district. As Morgan Norris steps back to serve. Norris lines it down the middle. Dig free back onto the Weldon Valley side. Norris pops it up. Staley setting it back onto the Pawnee side. Afton Zedek mistimed her jump, though. Couldn't put it down. Three all. Emily Ellis will check on the floor for Afton Zedek. Norris. Well, line the serve in the net. Was trying to clip the cord and get it to roll. Oh, wait, wrong team. And the Coyotes will take the serve. Johnson serve. Feuded by Hadley back row. Norris sets it up for Eskew. What a hit, far side. Quickly putting it down. Squaring us up at four here in the second. Eskew lines at far side, feuded by Koenig, back row, set up for Morgan Sanders, over the top of the block, nice pancake out by Norris, Kramer bumps it up for Headley, she goes off the block and gets the kill. Versatility is uh, the name of the game, especially in Class 1A Volleyball, and Weldon Valley displaying it, they're middle getting the set there. Eskew lines the serve deep, feuded back row by Lindy Johnston, set up in the tip over, Popped out high, set near side, and Headley will knock it over the top of the block. Ball dug out by Koenig, back row, set it up for Sanders. Angle shot, down and in for a kill. Timeout will be quickly taken by the Weldon Valley Lady Warriors because, well, it's going to be forced to be taken because of a libero not substituting properly here in the second. With more than 30 years in business, Pro Sports is the only place teams need to go to outfit for this season. A complete supplier of team athletic apparel, teams get their uniforms and equipment at a team discounted price. Outfit your team with Pro Sports, located in downtown Sterling, but a proud supplier to teams from all across Colorado. Pro Sports, offering team discounts. Call now, 970-522-8545 and outfit your team today. Pro Sports, your team source. Back here at the Bank of Colorado Events Center, the Weldon Valley Lady Warriors off uh, improper substitution of their libero forced to take their first time out of the set. And the Weldon Valley Lady Warriors will receive the serve from Kirby Anderson out of that timeout. Kirby will float it far side, popped up by... Cavelli back row set up for Kramer. She'll put it down. The freshman, a bunch of group of seniors. It's a little different than the last time Weldon Valley went to state in 09, where all these players that were now seniors made up the nucleus of that team as freshmen, and they had a few seniors. A lot of seniors this year, but there's a huge freshman class. For Weldon Valley as Kramer frees the ball over off a nice dig. Sanders will angle it near side. Ball kept in play, and that's a lift ball on Rachel McCracken. As she did have to carry that one to keep it in play. And stick the hands out and bump it, but she actually got a hold of it and lifted it up to keep it up. Emily Ellis will take the serve for Pawnee. If you had a back row by Cavelli, set it up in the big attack far side for McCracken and Kirby Anderson. McKeone Reeves there, Matrix out of the way. 7-6, Pawnee, down 1-0. Ellis, winds the serve near side, popped up high back row by McCracken. Set up for McCracken, her shot, nice swing this time, got it to go down and ties us back up at 7. ColoradoPreps.tv, your source for postseason volleyballs. Kiana Sandoval will check in. Be here Thursday at 2, Fleming, Caliche, and Prairie. Be down in Akron Friday. We're in Akron today as well. Countess Sandoval flies the serve far side. 
Koenig will set it up, and a free ball will be played over by Sanders. Uh, Sandoval digs it out. Norris short set Kramer into the net. Pawnee Dame maintaining the advantage here in the second. Sarah Vieira will step back to serve. Vieira lines it into the net. Haley Cavelli back with the serve. She'll hit a big fly, too big and out. Like what Weldon Valley looked like in the first game against Prairie. Struggling to put things together. Koenig will knock it far side, fielded back row by McCracken, tipped over by Eskew. Far side swing, Koenig off the block. Sandoval gets it out, and then the free ball over by Eskew. Short set down the middle, Tugman will go. Lindy Johnston, too big and out, trying to get the tip, and they will get the tip off the backside judge, and Pawnee takes a two-point lead, 10-8, here in the second. Koenig lines the ball down the middle on a rotation violation on Weldon Valley. Makes it 11-8. Serve. Line deep, popped up, back row, joust at the net, one by Morgan Norris. Lindy Johnston with the attack, chased down by Cassie Headley, set near side, McCracken, cross shot, down and in for a kill. This Weldon Valley team is a whole other level when they're clicking, but when they are not on, they're really not on. I mean, there's, there's an extreme for this Weldon Valley team. It's just a matter of finding that consistency for them. They've been able to find their consistency quite a bit this season. Now 19-1. Lindy Johnston, big shot down the near line. Popped out by Cavelli. Back row swing by McCracken. Nice top spin and gets Weldon Valley within one. McCracken. Big top, too big and out. Can't get the tie. Here in the second on ColoradoPreps.tv. That was a whoops. Pawnee kicked the ball back over to the Weldon Valley side. Togman, short serve, far side. Popped up by McCracken. Big short set for Eskew down and in for a kill. Kelsey Eskew. Be joined on the front row by Staley. And Morgan Norris steps back to serve. Staley floats the serve, far side, short set, near side. Lindy Johnson off the block, ball popped up by Norris, chased down, and a free ball be played over by Haley Cabelli. Quick check up, back row by Ellis, set it up for Lindy Johnson, <laughs> rejected at the net by Kelsey Eskew. Weldon Valley has put Kelsey Eskew in front of Lindy Johnston. They're matched up two of the three front row rotations. Lindy's up there. And it's negated the best player on the Pawnee side. Line served down the middle, set up, and Kirby Anderson will free it over. Nice check up from the back row by McCracken, set near side, Headley. Her attack dug out by Vieira. Johnson chases it down, and Kirby Anderson frees it over. Norris will set it up near side for Headley. Off the block, nice keep up by Johnston, but... The ball's going to get down, and Weldon Valley takes a 13-12 lead here in the second. Morgan Norris back to serve. Norris, line near side, fielded by Koenig, set over the net by Togman. Norris underneath it, she'll back that far side, Staley. She punches it into the net, and the Weldon Valley run is done. Just a little 3-0 run there, but it got him right back in in the second. Tied now at 13. Lines her deep, popped up, back row, McCracken, short set to Eskew, off the block, dug out by Johnston. Ellis sets far side for Anderson. Short set again to Eskew, and this time it'll get down, and we play a game of twister on the floor on the Pawnee side. Weldon Valley takes a 14-13 lead. 
Kelsey Eskew ran off nine straight on her serve against Prairie. Will not even get one here. Lines it into the net. That's why you don't talk about a perfect game when it's happening. And another inappropriate substitution for Weldon Valley is required their second timeout of the second game to be burned. With more than 30 years in business, Pro Sports is the only place teams need to go to outfit for this season. A complete supplier of team athletic apparel, teams get their uniforms and equipment at a team discounted price. Outfit your team with Pro Sports, located in downtown Sterling, but a proud supplier to teams from all across Colorado. Pro Sports, offering team discounts. Call now, 970-522-8545 and outfit your team today. Pro Sports, your team source. The South Plaza. So Weldon Malley out of timeouts here in the second because of two inappropriate libero substitutions. I'm not 100% sure what is wrong with it. I will have to go and ask the officials to clarify it for myself after the match. Regardless, Pawnee. 14 all will have the serve in the hands of Kirby Anderson. And she hadn't been given the go-ahead. So we replay the point. Anderson will step back, line it far side, field it by Headley. Norris sets. Kraymeyer with the big swing, too big and out. Pawnee taking a 15-14 advantage. First was 25-16. Short serve. Miss popped on the front row. Cavelli will end up setting. Kraymeyer will line it near side. Down the middle goes Morgan Sanders. Ball kept up by Headley. Lift ball or two-hit violation on Cavelli trying to keep that in play. And Pawnee back up by two, 16-14. But not by as many as three here in the second. Kirby Anderson. With the short serve, misplayed by Staley. Norris sets it over, return back over and under the net. Went Norris and back up by three. Go to the Pawnee Coyotes and Weldon Valley without a timeout. We'll see Kendra Coulson come back in. Nice to have a plethora of weapons to use in that right side position. Anderson, short serve, feed it on the front row by Coulson. Norris will back it off far side for Headley. Her attack dug out back row, far side set up for Koenig off the block at the net. <clears throat> Ball backed out, and then the attack down the line from Cullison. Can't keep it in play on a third, so the sub will end the run. Pawnee with a 17-15 lead, and back to serve. Goes Headley. Headley winds it near side, popped out, misplayed out of the net, but somehow kept over by Ellis. Norris will set it up near side. Tip down the line by McCracken and in for a kill. Alert play as the defense was peeled back off the initial dig. Never got back into position to play a tip ball off that front row. Usually play you in the backside. They were playing more of a line. Serve feed to back row by Anderson. Koenig swing far side. Diving dig out by Headley. Norris will set it up. McCracken big shot far side. And caught Anderson. And it's 17 all here in the second. Weldon Valley took the first. Headley. Top spin deep. Popped up by Anderson. Back row. Running bump for a back row swing by Lindy Johnson. Dug out backside by McCracken. Short set for Kraymeyer. Down and in for a kill. Weldon Valley's run off four straight on the serve of Cassie Headley to take the lead back here in the second. Had it albeit briefly earlier in this set. Line down the middle, fielded by Johnston. Far side swing for Koenig, dug out by Cavelli. Back set to the right post for Cullison. Her attack dug out by Ellis. Chased down in a free ball, played over by Lindy Johnston. Popped out back row, set up in the attack. Banged down and in by Kramer, 19-17, a 6-0 run. Still no timeout on the Pawnee side as... Coach Marcy Koenig is trusting her team to get the work done against Weldon Valley. Headley will fly a deep, popped up, back row by Anderson, set it up, and a free ball be played over. 
Checked up by Headley, set near post. McCracken hopped the net cord. She hits that clean. It goes directly into the block. She hopped the cord. 2017 Warriors. Sarah Vieira will check in on the back row. Cassie Headley. Short serve. Popped up by Vieira. Far post swing will come from Koenig. Off the block. Rejected back by Brooklyn Kramer. And it's now an 8-0 run. The Pawnee players look into the bench. Almost as if they're looking for a timeout. Not going to get it. It's Headley. Tops it deep. Popped up back row by Ellis. Set far side Koenig. She'll flush it near side. Kept up by McCracken. Back to McCracken on the post. She'll line it down. Nicely dug out by Lindy Johnston. She'll get a back flat free over. Diving dig out by Headley. Kept up by Norris. And an attack played by libero Haley Cavelli. Down the middle, Morgan uh, Sanders tipping it over. Norris for Weldon Valley sets it up near side. What an angle played there by Rachel McCracken. 22-17, a 9-0 run. Cassie Headley, short serve, dug back over by Sarah Vieira, popped up by Haley Cavelli. Norris will back set far side. Cullison off the block and out. So she tooled the block nicely, and a 10-0 run makes it 23-17. Headley, short serve, feuded by Lindy Johnston. Morgan Sanders will punch it deep. Morgan Norris fields it. Collison will set near side swing for McCracken. Punched over on the set by Togman. Norris underneath it. Short set. Kramer miss hit the ball. Kept in play by Togman and a free ball will be played over by Vieira. Checked up back row by Kramer. Set over by Norris. Sanders will return it back on the second hit. Cavelli digs it out. Far side swing for Cullison. Too big an out. Ending the 10-0 run, but it has given Weldon Valley a five-point advantage at 23-18 here in the second. It's been so long since Pawnee served, they've called for a lineup check to see who's supposed to be serving. Ellis lines it short, popped up back row by Headley, set it up for a running attack. McCracken off the block and down, game points at 24-18. <coughs> serve will go over to Kendra Collison, who will serve for herself. She'll put it far side, feed it by Lindy Johnston. Set on the far post, Koenig down the line, chased down by Headley. Norris running, bump set, near side, McCracken hammers it deep, too deep, and out. On that hitting air, one staved off for the Pawnee Lady Coyotes, still 24-19. As Kiana Sandoval comes in on the back row. Morgan Sanders. Well, it's a serve short, popped up by Cavelli back row. Norris sets it up, McCracken off speed near side. Down the middle goes Lindy Johnston, chicken winged out by Cassie Headley back row, and a free ball will be played over by McCracken deep and chased down by Sanders. Short set for Lindy Johnston, push near line, down and in. Saw the opening, played the ball there. And Caitlin Staley will check in for... Weldon Valley and down up 24-20. Vieira, serve far side, popped up by Headley back row. Norris gives it up to Kramer. Her attack, lift ball. That will go down and end the second. Much closer, a 10-0 run by Weldon Valley, 25-20. They go up 2-0. Third next on this big-time small-town media production. The South Platte Sentinel has been serving Sterling and Logan County for more than 25 years, and they're proud to do it with accuracy, efficiency, and the most comprehensive local news, sports, and opinion you'll find anywhere. The South Platte Sentinel is available every Wednesday on your doorstep or online anytime at southplatsentinel.com. You can also check out the latest news and updates anytime on Facebook. Just visit the South Platte Sentinel Facebook page. The South Platte Sentinel, a proud supporter of Logan County. For certified windshield repair and replacement, you already know to call Smart Parts in Sterling. 
But what about grill guards, running boards, and other truck accessories, such as BW hitches and 3M clear protective coating for any vehicle? Smart Parts has what you're looking for. Ask about the Vortex system, used for sprayed-on truck liners to protect your truck bed from wear and tear while enhancing the beauty of your truck. For these and other services, see Smart Parts at 536th Avenue in Sterling or call 522-5399. Rudy's Gas, Tire, and Oil congratulates the area teams on their great season and also congratulates them on their accomplishments. When you need a tire assistant, see Rudy's Gas, Tire, and Oil with two convenient locations to serve you. Rudy's GTO at 405 East Edison Street in Brush or at 113 Central Avenue in Wiggins. For more information, call Rudy's GTO in Brush, 970-842-4219 or in Wiggins, 970-483-7878. Big Tex, a name you can trust to build great trailers. Big Tex, the name behind quality, precise design, and depth of production line. Big Tex, where style does not get lost in the rugged construction of products. Big Tex, made to last, made to perform. Big Tex, with years of experience and Texas pride built into every product. When your Big Tex touches the ground, it's tested and warranted, ready to transport the job you have. Get your Big Tex trailer at Sterling Trailers. Call 522-2855. Looking for that perfect home or property? Look no further than Morgan County Realty and Reed Cavelli. Morgan County Realty was established 30 years ago and is family owned and operated. Specializing in residential housing, commercial properties, water transactions, farm and ranch. But it doesn't just stop there. Reed is also a licensed mortgage loan originator, providing a full line of mortgage services. See Reed Cavelli today at Morgan County Realty, 702 Main Street in Fort Morgan, or call 970-867-4908. Head to the third, two sets to none. The Welna Valley Lady Warriors, one away from winning Pool A and going into Saturday as the number one overall seed here at the 1A District 4 Volleyball Tournament. I'm Ben Black. I'm very glad you're joining us on ColoradoPreps.tv where you're going to be able to see all of this action. Uh, we had part of today on a local radio station, 104.7. We'll be back on that Thursday, 2 o'clock, for Pool B, which is Fleming, Caliche, and Pete's. Pawnee will start with a serve here in the third, going right to left on your video screen. It'll go in the hands of their libero, Sarah Vieira. Vieira lines it near side, fielded by McCracken. McCracken on the near post, nicely tooled off the block and got the kill. It's only the second time all day in six sets played for Weldon Valley. They've taken the opening point. McCracken, angle serve far side, dropped it in. Vieira misread the ball, thought it was tailing much further wide than it actually went. And 2-0. McCracken, big jump, hammered into the net. That's one of the weaknesses of Weldon Valley is they get a big play like an ace, big killer, a stuff block, and seems like Six times out of ten, they followed up with a service error. Tip over by Norris, popped up on the front row by Zedek, who returns, and she'll free it over. Checked up by Staley on the front row. Short set for Eskew, miss hit the ball. Chicken wing down by Vieira. And then another swing will come from Eskew after a free ball from Pawnee. They'll get another free ball. This time they'll go far post for Headley down the line. It was going too big and out, but it was played on the back row. And Weldon Valley takes a 3-1 advantage here in the third. Kendra Collison will come on, play in front row. Norris lines it into the net. Earth serve will be popped up back row, set for Eskew. Nice swing down and in for a kill. Kelsey Eskew's in double digits this afternoon, headed toward evening. She'll give herself the serve. Eskew 
Popped up high, back row by Vieira. Near side, Kirby Anderson off the block of the net. Norris frees it over right into the radar zone of Lindy Johnson. She's dug out. Colson will set far side. Free punch deep by Headley. Short set for Anderson on the far post. Rejected back by Kraymeyer. Five two. Eskew. Lines in near side. Popped up by Vieira. Back row into the block of Cullison, but she reached over the net. Cannot play a ball in the positive zone. That would be where it is. That's a negative to play a ball in the positive zone. Don't ask me the definition. That just the volleyball definition. Line served deep, too deep and out for Lindy Johnston. And six three goes well to balance. Cassie Edley, who got the nice run to give them the second, will take the serve. Zedek fields it back row. Tugman sets it up. Nice swing by Kirby Anderson, but she missed that back line by mere inches right at the feet of the official. 7-3. Top far sign. Short set up in the over the top of the block punch from Zedek. Norris will set it up near side. Collison nicely using the block. It was late closing because Zeta could actually freed the ball from two-thirds of the way across the court and now Pawnee's been required to take a timeout because of their illegal libero substitution. I, I think I know what was wrong with that, but uh, we'll just take a break with them. Here's a simple math problem. What's one plus one? Two, you say? Not at Bank of Colorado. Here, one plus one add up to free. Because our personal free checking and personal free collection give you twice as much free. You'll start with free checking, free online banking, free telebank access, free pin pay, no service fees, and more. And when you add on, you'll get a free savings account, free appraisal with your next mortgage, and more. So if you're into free, apply today to open a new account by visiting bankofcolorado.com, where one plus one equals free. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Eight three in favor of the Weldon Valley Lady Warriors. Coyotes required to burn a timeout here in the third because they were trying to get Sarah Vieira in for Kendra Koenig and didn't get her subbed in right. She went off the end line as opposed to the sideline. Lines are down the middle. Fielded by Lindy Johnson. Back row. Shoot set near side. Morgan Sanders off the block and down and in for a kill. The timeout actually behooves Pawnee. And they end the Weldon Valley run, which was at 4-0. Zedek will step back to serve. Zedek lines it short. Ball dug out back row. Tip set over and down by Kendra Collison. It's the one rotation that Morgan Norris is playing a hitter in. It's Collison lines it down the middle. Misplay back row by the Coyotes in a near side swing. From Koenig, off speed down. Coyotes were expected to go more power there. They went off speed instead off that receipt. Caitlin Staley on for the Warriors. Kirby Anderson will take the serve for the Coyotes. She'll float it down the far side. Fielded by McCracken. Short set for McCracken. Her attack is dug out nicely. Sanders will off speed punch it in again. Pawnee is going off speed and completely throwing that back row for the Weldon Valley defense. They've not really gone much power. I'm probably count on one hand the number of actual power shots they've swung today. Yet Weldon Valley's defense way back on them. Finding an opening and playing it there. Norris will set the ball over far side. Two wide now. And the lead cut down to 2-9-7 here in the third. Weldon Valley up 2-0. Just an opportunity. Again, Pawnee's done that. I've seen him a few times this season. and Get to that point where you feel they're going to finally start to break through, break that run, and just a mental error like that right there, a service error, causes the problem. Cavelli served. He hit a back row. Set up down the middle for Morgan Norris. She goes off speed wide and gets the misplay to cut the lead down to two.
Vieira hammers it toward the back corner. Norris will get it up for a back row swing from McCracken, and she plays near line and gets the kill. One A District for volleyball action. These two teams know they're moving on. They're going to be playing Saturday, starting at 9 a.m. It's just a matter of what seed. If Weldon Valley wins, they're guaranteed the one seed, and they know they'll play the 10:30 match. Short serve popped out by Vieira. Vieira will get the free ball played right into the radar zone. Askew popped up by Anderson, and down the middle, Lindy Johnston off the float ball, kind of took a peek at where the defense was, and almost backhanded the ball down. 11-9 Weldon Valley gives the serve to Kendra Koenig. Koenig lines it deep, too deep and out. Morgan Norris will step back with the serve. Norris Lines it down the middle, popped up by Vieira, back row, set it up, and over the top of the block goes Zedek. Checked out on the front row by Headley, near side swing for Cullison, and she'll line it down and in for a kill. Norris. Steps back and rockets the serve, far side, fielded by Koenig, back row, running bump set up, and a free ball played over by Vieira, checked up back row by McCracken, big swing by Kelsey Eskew, down and in for a kill, up by five, goes Weldon Valley. Fourteen-nine Norris, floats the serve, far side, popped up by Koenig. Set up down the middle for Lindy Johnson. She knocks it into the net. They blocked Lindy so well, she's gone away from her normal offense, which has been power. They blocked her with Eskew, as I talked about earlier, in two out of the three rotations on the front row, and she's had to go away from her offense. So her far side, elbow dig misplayed, 16-9. Alden Valley, nine away of sweeping through the day. Norris, serve far side, popped up back row by Koning, running bump up and a big swing, but too wide and out goes Lindy Johnson. Tried to go power there and <clears throat> Weldon Valley got away from it. 17-9. Norris, elbow dig on the front row by Lindy Johnson, set it up and off the block at the net and down went power line that time. And ends the Warrior run. They're up 17-10, just eight points away. I'm guaranteeing that one seat on Saturday. Tugman, short serve, popped up by McCracken. Set it up for Coulson. She'll punch it deep. Dug out by Vieira, and the free over two wide and out. Misplayed dig is the result of that hitting error, I guess, as it will go down. Back to serve goes Kelsey Eskew. Eskew lines it down the middle, dig free back onto the Warrior side, popped up by Norris, set far post, and Headley arcs it deep. Dug out back row by Vieira, set it up near side, off the block at the net, and down for a kill goes Afton Zedek. Wendy Johnston takes a serve. Lindy. Lines in near side, popped up back row by Headley, set up for Headley, her attack deep, misplayed off the back row, and that will give another point to the Weldon Valley Lady Warriors. They're content just to side out the rest of the way as Emily Ellis checks on for the Coyotes. Cassie Headley. We'll step back with a serve. Popped up back row by Lindy Johnston. Set out far side. Zedek over the top of the block. Diving dig back over by Cavelli. Free dig back over by Ellish. Set to the back corner by Norris. Tip back over. Pancaked out by Cullison and swatted down by Kramer. She just reactionary flew out there just to try and keep the ball in play. And 
Kramer, the freshman, doing the only thing she could, tip it down, got the kill, 20-11. Headley, back corner, finds it for an ace. No communication on that back row for Pawnee. That was the problem in the second set, I believe it was, against Prairie. No chatter whatsoever. As Coulson's going to exit, Staley will come in on the front row to play right side for Weldon Valley. Headley, short serve, popped up by Vieira, back row. Shoot it up in the attack, played back over by Kirby Anderson. Norris chasing it down and a flat free played toward the back corner. Too big an out by Caitlin Staley. Going to five in Yuma between Cedric County and Haxton. Zedek serve, popped out, back row by Cavelli. Set it up far side, the attack line deep and down and in for a kill. My Weldon Valley, they're three away, up 22 to 12. Onto the floor for the Weldon Valley Lady Warriors will come Hunter Hammond. The 5-1 freshman will replace Cassie Headley. Headley and Eskew have taken a seat at the end of the bench. Their day is done. So short serve will be popped out by Lindy Johnston. Set near side, Ellis Angle deep. Dug out by Cavelli back row. Set far post, McCracken off the block at the net. Diving dig out by Lindy Johnston. Ellis over the top of the block. Popped up by Caitlin Staley. Set far side, big swing. From McCracken, dug out again back row for Lindy Johnston. Zedek will fly at far line and caught the far line. Right there on the line. That fly was just able to drop in and give Pawnee the point. Line served down the middle. Popped up back row by Cavelli. Short set in the big attack to the back corner. Too big and out for Kramer. Two teams will see each other again Saturday. So three times in one week, they'll play one another. So serve will be fielded far side by Cavelli. Set it up in the big swing off the block at the net by McCracken. Make it 23-14. And well, I guess Eskew will have to come back in on the rotation here as Haley Cavelli steps back to serve. Irma Vie going to step in and replace Rachel McCracken, whose day is done. Cavelli lines a serve into the net. Vieira was given the serve. She wasn't sure if she'd been given the go ahead or not. And then when the official was just staring at her, she went for it. Misplayed her toss. Match points at 24-15. Headley will come back in on the front row as Irma Valle steps back to serve. Irma hammers it down the middle, popped up by Kirby Anderson. Set near side, Lindy Johnson, her attack far side. She'll get the kill, stay one off. These two teams could not only play one another, but if seating holds true, they would play each other in the 10-30 match on Saturday. So they'd play... Match 21 for both of these teams against one another. After playing match 19 against one another. And then they would play match 22 of the season against one another. Norris tips it over, ball dug up. Eskew hammers it and miss Doug. And that will do the match. The Weldon Valley Warriors top the Pawnee Lady Coyotes in three. The final tally here this evening is 25-16, 25-20. And 25-16. The Weldon Valley Lady Warriors will go into Saturday as the one seed. Pawnee likely is the four seed. Unless Pete springs the upset on Thursday. Vinnie Beret running camera. I'm Ben Black. It has been a big time small town media production.